<clears throat> well, good morning. Today's topic, I'm going to do a little bit of casting. I've been doing a lot of churning green wood, and I'm going to just take a little detour, do some casting, and this is going to be a, a surprise for my wife. I've got a four inch, uh, I think it's silicone mold. These are really, really cool because they come out round. I'm going to put some of these shavings inside this mold, cast it, and the shavings are from really the first bowl that Cheryl rough turned all by herself. She's getting pretty good, and I thought that'd be kind of a neat, a neat gift for her. No color, just uh, clear with the shavings inside. I've got everything I need. I've got my pressure pot, and I've got my Alumalite. Um, I've been spraying this with some stoner inside, so it'll be a good, good release. And then I'll, uh, I'll show you how I prepare this. And I've done this before with these molds and they really come out really, really cool. So anyway, let's, uh, let's move ahead and we'll do a little bit of casting. There you go. I am all ready to go. I've got my Alumalite divided up into two parts. All right, that's ready to mix. Now this will be simple because I'm not adding any color. So um, the total grams I'm calculating is 380 in each one of these containers. Now, what I've got to do is put the, uh, the shavings inside the, the mold here. All right. And I'm going to just take that, shove it in there <laughs> as best I can. Now there's a little lip on this uh, mold. It's kind of like a lidded box or something. When I make one of these uh, mold castings, I use binder clips. All right, let me just put a few of these on here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, let me show you what I have here. It took a little bit of time off camera preparing for this. One of the things I'm going to cast is a piece of silicon carbide. Got that in a rock shop here in Billings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to suspend this and I'm going to fill it up to about right here. Okay, I've got rubber bands around there and a string and all that's going to come off. I'm going to set that aside. And here is my sphere loaded up with those shavings. All right, now I think this is going to be the tricky part. Here's my, my funnel. And I've only got a seven minute open time on this. So I'm going to just kind of put this in one of my containers. I'm going to mix up my two parts. And what I did was I actually went online and found the formula for calculating the volume of a sphere, which came out to 33 cubic inches right here, four inch sphere. And the difficult part was trying to calculate <laughs> the uh, the shavings in there as far as volume, which I really didn't do. I think that'd be kind of impossible. So that was just kind of a guessing game. Okay, I need... All right, now, I had to go get a stir stick. Funnel, everything's ready to go. So I'm gonna set my timer for seven minutes. All right, so I got my timer set. Uh, here we go. And I'm gonna just mix this back and forth a couple times from one container to another. And I'm going to try to clear out and I'm going to try to clean out what is remaining in this container. So I've measured out uh, part A and part B estimating what I'll need for both these 
pores and that came out to 570 grams I've got it written down here 570 grams divide that by two and I weighed that on my my scale all right so I'm gonna mix this until I can't see any more of those bubbles and that indicates that it's uh, fairly well mixed and I'm just hoping that uh, the shavings won't interfere with the pour. I got my pressure pot sorted behind me and I think I think that's all I need to do right there. Wipe down the sides and the bottom of this and that's cleared up considerably. Okay, so I'm going to bring my my sphere mold front and center. This could be a big mess. I don't know. We'll just see how long it takes to uh, have that flow into the sphere. All right, not not bad. It's it's going down. And I can actually see it through the sides of the mold. All right. My mold is filled up. Okay, it's uh flowing all around the side. That's okay. It's a little bit of a mess. Okay, I've got about four minutes. I'm doing, I'm doing okay. <laughs> so now I'm going to fill up this smaller pour with my silicon carbide. Try to get that as high up as I can. I think I'll just take this out. Fill that up. And I didn't expect that I would have enough to cover this entire rock here. So I'm going to just put that in there right to that point and that's okay. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and put them in my pressure pot. Okay. And that's not too exciting. I'll turn the, uh, the pressure on and we'll just kind of see what we end up with. All right, I got my two containers inside my pressure pot. Everything went uh, pretty well. I got the pressure on and I've got my uh, pressure pot set right at 60 pounds. This is a CA Technologies pressure pot and it's uh, high quality. It won't explode. Uh, it's good up to 80 pounds. And it's got a relief valve here that uh, lets off the air pressure. So anyway, um, right at 12 o'clock noon here, and I'll let that go for an hour and a half, two hours, probably longer than that actually. Then we'll take it out and see what we got. Yeah, that's always the exciting part. All right, let's take a look at what we have here. I couldn't wait, and last night I came out and took this out of the mold. So let's see what we got here. And I tell you what, I'm very happy with the results. This one isn't quite, there we go. So there's my mold. Um, I, I sprayed stoner. This is mold release and I, I sprayed several coats on the inside of that. And that came out very clean, so I can reuse this over and over again. Now, let's take a look at our sphere. Oh, yeah, that's going to be really cool. So all I've got is alumilite resin. Here's a, that's the part A. Alumilite clear urethane casting resin. And this has a seven minute open time. 
And I think that's very, very round. Okay, now let me show you my other casting that I did. This is the silicon carbide piece of stone. All right, and I guess that's what our abrasives come from. So I've just embedded the very bottom of that in the resin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something kind of funky. I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do with this, but I'm going to cut this uh, little remnants here, cut that off. There we go. Get rid of all that. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to put a layer of uh, gold leaf right here. And then I'm going to cast on top of that. I don't know how that's going to come out, but I've seen it done. And uh, anyway, I'll show you that by the end of the video. So right now, I'm going to put this on a lathe, and I'm not sure exactly how much of this I'm going to show you. Um, this is pretty boring watching somebody turn um, a cast resin sphere, but I needed to get that to a point where it's all polished up really nicely. So anyway, let me turn the camera off, and I'm going to go to work and do some, some turning on this cast resin sphere. Well, I started this video a few days ago, took a little time out, went to visit some grandkids. Anyway, we're back in the shop, and boy, am I glad. Anyway, I started this particular project for Cheryl as a surprise. Let me kind of uh, review where I was at a few days ago. I filled this sphere in that mold with some of the shavings that Cheryl had turned from that uh, rough turn bowl she did. And I'm kind of thinking, it's her first bowl, so I thought I'd do something with the shavings. Well, I packed them in there, and I did a good job packing them in. However, you can't begin to see through it. And that was kind of my intention a little bit, where you could see some light through it. So, mm, I don't know, I'm not real happy with this. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put this back in the lathe. Let me just show you. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a bowl and maybe a couple bowls. So if I cut that right down the center, okay, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I have an idea. I don't think the bandsaw is the best tool for this, okay, because I'd have to get some sort of a jig and clamp it and then you're still kind of in jeopardy a little bit. It's kind of a little bit risky. So I'm going to start by parting this and I'm going to take a handheld saw or maybe my reciprocating saw and cut that in half and make a bowl out of it. You know, it's kind of like ashes to ashes. It started out as a pile of shavings in a bowl and it's going to end up as a bowl. And then I think we can see through the uh, the side of it a little bit better. So let me uh, readjust a little bit. Right now it's uh, it's fairly round. I, I worked on that quite a bit. Not not perfectly round. All right, let's uh, begin by parting this in two. All right, so I've decided to make a bowl out of this, or maybe a couple bowls. First step, I need to split this into two. I guess two hemispheres, all right? Fairly round, but it doesn't matter at this point. I've got that secured between my sphere centers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a thin parting tool and just part in a ways. A little bit more speed, I think. All right, now you can tell from the shavings that I am down to round. All right, and I just don't know 
if I can part this in two with my parting tool or if I need to get a saw. I know one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook my dust collector up. I think that would make sense. Actually, that's not too bad. Maybe I can just part that off with my parting tool. We'll see about that. All right, now I've got every one of my lathes set up where I can uh, hook a dust collection tube up to it. All right, one thing I need to do before I forget it is I need to make a, a tenon down here on each hemisphere. I gotta do that, so. I'm going to find another tool and make a couple uh, tenons on each end of this. I think I'm down to about an inch and a half down there. I think I can just part this in two the rest of the way. So, so I'm going to take a parting tool and I'm going to just make a nice tenon on each side of this or end of this. I've got my two tenons all made up and I'm going to part this off um, a little bit more and I think I can just take that apart. All right, now I decided that the safest way to part this off was put this in a scroll chuck. Okay, so that'll be right there when I make my bowl. So I got my tail center brought up for a little bit of support. I got my face shield on. So here we go. All right, we'll shut down here. We'll kind of survey the situation. I'm going to back this off here. I don't think I need it anymore. Okay, so I believe I can just twist that off. There we go. All right. So there's one hemisphere and future bowl ready to go. Here's my other one. I'm going to uh, rotate my tail stock out of the way. There we go. And now I can get into this and, and start making my bowl. Yeah, I think this is going to be cool and it's a surprise for my wife. Uh, she's been doing great with uh, the wood turning and okay, what tool do I use here? All right, I don't know. I think what I'll do is drill a little bit of a, a center hole in there to get me going. Make a little bit of an indentation right there. I'll take one of my handheld drills and I don't need to go down too deep. I don't want to go through the bottom of this. I like to turn my speed down just a little bit. All right, now I'm going to make a mess here with these shavings. So I think what I'm going to do is turn my microphone off, turn my dust collector on, which is going to make a little bit of noise. And I'm going to do a little bit of work on this and start hollowing out this bowl. All right, now I've done just a little bit of work off camera. I've tried a couple different tools and I have kind of settled on this uh, Boxmaster 
negative brake scraper. I tried a traditional scraper and it was just a little bit too aggressive. So I'm going to go back to this. We'll do a little bit more work and we shall proceed with this project. All right, I wanted to give you a backed off view of this and uh, my dust collection chute right here. Let's uh, turn this thing off for a second. Now, previously, I had defined the thickness of my, my wall right here with the parting tool. I also cleaned up this surface. All right, I leveled that off because uh, I want to be able to uh, determine the wall thickness. And I can already start seeing uh, kind of through this, through the shavings, which is kind of what I wanted to do. So. I'm going to turn the camera off, do a little bit more of this work, because it's uh, not all that exciting. Anyway, we get back to you. Do just a little bit more work, and I'll show you what this looks like with this larger tool. I'm very close to being able to sand this, all right? And I'm gonna save you from that. Um, I have plenty of videos showing wet sanding on cast resin. I have a little bit of work on that very bottom there and I'll sand this and turn it around. We'll finish this uh, little bowl up. All right, now I have the inside of my bowl completed, except for the dust. All right, it's sanded to about 4,000 grit. I've got a little bit of Plastex on there, so I need to finish the bottom of this, take this uh, little bit of a spigot off there, okay? I got a waste block in my headstock. Took a little bit of time off camera to get this in there very nicely, and that seats at the bottom I'm gonna bring up my tail center. I need to find a, a live center that'll work. All right, I have a live center here and I'm going to screw on an adapter 
and that will protect the bottom of my my little bowl okay make sure everything is locked down I've got a, just a little bit of carpet underlayment on the on the top of that that's not going to go any place it's not going to come out I can uh, clean all this up yeah all right I'm going to shut my camera off because it's difficult to see what I'm doing anyway and I'll show you what I end up with. I'm going to do some sanding and finish that and then this project will be complete. Alright, I've sanded the outside. I've got it all shaped and everything. I've got a little bit of a foot on the bottom there. Let's take this out. See what we got. Alright. There we go, my little, my little bowl for Cheryl. Now, I need to find Cheryl and uh, present this to her. We'll try to get her on camera. What do you think? I'll give you some close-ups of this. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty cool. Come on in. All right, I've got my wife Cheryl here, and you and I know that I made something for her because you've been watching the video up to this point. Now, I'm gonna present this to her. I'm not sure what her reaction is gonna be, but it'll, it'll be okay. Now, I'm gonna show her the unfinished hemisphere, okay? <laughs> what do you think about that? Pretty primitive. Is that, um, is that shavings? They're special shavings. Oh boy. Where do you think these shavings came from? I don't know. These shavings came from the first bowl that you rough turned. Really? Yeah. I don't even remember what that was. Well, you know, when you were helping me a month or so ago. Anyway, um, my initial intention was to make a sphere out of this. Well, I got into it and it's like, oh, I don't like it. You know, and I thought, in fact, we were on vacation last week and one of those three o'clock ideas you get and go, I'll make a bowl out of it. And I'm going to call it ashes to ashes, <laughs> shavings to shavings. Now, this is not the finished product. You got to find it in here someplace. So now, you know, this is my idea of something cool. So anyway, here's, here's a finished bowl with your shavings from your first that is cool rough turn yeah bolt. that's really fun tell those people there that's pretty cool <laughs> i never know what i'm gonna get so but that's neat that's your christmas present uh, how about birthday you just had a birthday i know what'd i get oh dear lord <laughs> anyway thank you very much um we'll very nice thank you We'll find a nice place in the house to display that, her first shavings. I don't know. I wish I had mine. Anyway, talk to you next time. Thank you very much for, for uh, watching the video. And uh, we'll go make another one. Yeah. All right. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Fun idea. Okay.